So did you get, were there any standout piece of advice? Was there something that you learned today that you didn't know before that you were going to take away? Well, speaking to all the individual charities, such as Women's Aid and Survive, it was clear that there is a drive for women um, who are survivors of domestic violence who want to vote, who want to be able to have their voice heard and are unable to do so. It's clearly a problem that we need to solve. And if we're going to have a democracy that works for everybody, then we need to ensure we have anonymous registration that works for everyone. And so what are the next steps that you're going to take? Well, going forward, um, I'll be launching our democratic engagement strategy next week. Um, this will include me reaching out to not only uh, those who need the system of anonymous registration to improve, but, but a whole range of those in society who currently are facing barriers when it comes to electoral registration and determined to ensure that we tackle those barriers, that we get as many people on the register as possible, that it remains as accurate as possible. But when it comes to anonymous registration, we're now going to engage with every single stakeholder and engage with every department that uh, this is an issue. And moving forward into the new year, um, we will be issuing a policy statement that will set out our legislative priorities and ensure to get that legislation in place to make sure that no woman, no one in a domestic violence refuge is uh, prevented from voting and that we have anonymous registration that works for everyone.